Shares of Robinhood closed down 0.9% on Monday, having recovered from a sharp drop of more than 9% in pre-market trading when the disclosure came out. An SEC spokesman declined to comment. Robinhood, whose core business is stocks and options trading, is more conservative than many crypto-oriented businesses in the number of digital currencies it allows customers to trade and the services it provides. Last year, the SEC sued crypto exchange Coinbase for allegedly running an unregistered securities exchange. Robinhood delisted several cryptocurrencies that the agency deemed to be securities in its Coinbase lawsuit. Coinbase has rejected the SEC's allegations and has been fighting the agency in court. So basically, when it comes to the world of crypto, I don't really understand what the SEC is doing. The SEC is doing weird stuff, and um, I don't really understand this type of weird enforcement where people are literally calling you and saying, okay, how do we make sure that we're in compliance and you're not answering the phone, and then you just sit back and let them incriminate themselves or whatever it is that you expect them to do, and then you show up and you say you were breaking the law or whatever. I, I just think that's the weirdest just most dysfunctional uh, way to do things. But then again, it's the government. So what do you expect from the U.S. government? So uh, where do I think this is going to go? I think Robinhood is a strong business. It's going to continue to be strong. And um, they seem to have a solid business model. And in fact, Robinhood just released a a really nice credit card, their Robinhood gold card. I've I've, I've looked at a lot of reviews on it and I like it. I like it so much that I'm actually going to get one. Uh, I'm a member of Robinhood gold. And uh, actually we use Robinhood a lot in class uh, when it comes to general Rating income by selling stock options. And so if you'd like to, um, I have a training called how to make money without working, which shows how I make thousands of dollars a week selling stock options. I don't, I don't really buy a lot of stock options because I'm not really big into the speculation side. I, I, study it. I understand it. I learned a lot about it in my doctoral program and stuff like that. But um, I like the sell side because I like generating the income because income can pay bills. So if you're looking for some ways to pay some bills and you have some capital that you want to invest, uh, we that's what we do in, in our prime program. So if you'd like to get an exposure to it, just text the word money to 87948 and I'll send you that training right away. It'll come right to your text message. So just check your phone. Uh, it's called how to make money without working. It does work. It's real. It's not hocus pocus. Uh, I'm not you know, I'm not a financial influencer. I'm a finance professor. So, uh, so this stuff does actually work. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, I didn't want to talk very long. I just wanted to uh, say hello. And I promised you guys that I would give you a stock that I am invested in that I believe in. And that stock for today that I'm going to buy right now in my account is Netflix. Netflix is a company that has just impressed the crap out of me with the way they they handled the onslaught of all these uh, big movie production companies that really thought they could come in and take Netflix's lunch. And Netflix is just innovative. They, I mean, they're doing that goofy fight between Mike Tyson and Jake. Uh, what's his face? J- you know, Jake Paul, I think that's his name. Which to me, it's a joke because Mike Tyson's an old man. He's almost 60. And then also, it's they're not really going to hit each other hard. They're just drawing a lot of attention so they can make money. But it's going to work. It's going to work. Just like they did that live roast of Tom Brady. Uh, which which had some really heavy jokes, man. Oh my gosh, it was kind of crazy how they did that. But um, but that did really well. So I think I just think Netflix is a great company, very innovative. And so if you want to know what I'm gonna buy right now, I'm literally logging in to uh, my E Trade account right now, and I'm buying uh, shares in uh, in uh, Netflix. 